Hi folks, welcome to Alan James Art. I'm Alan James. Hey, so I wanna talk about today perspective. And uh, that by far is the most perplexing thing to all my students. Uh, they come in and they, they just can't seem to wrap their brains around what it is. So I'm gonna simplify that to you in simple terms that there's no way you could not understand what perspective is and how you can deal with it, okay? So let's talk about the two things that are involved in perspective. And that is the horizon line and the vanishing point. So you might say, well, what do you mean? What's, what's the horizon line? Okay, so the horizon line is your eye level. So it's a horizontal line that goes straight across your paper or what you're looking at, straight across. That's your horizon line, okay? So if I'm sitting down, it's down here. If I'm standing up, it's up here. If I'm taller, it's up here. If I'm shorter, it's down here, same thing. Okay, so just like if you go to the beach and you look out at the water and where the water and the sky meet, we can call that the horizon line, okay? So let's get down to the, uh, the nitty gritty here. Uh, I drew uh, a little bit earlier, I drew a horizon line straight across here, right? And uh, all I did was put, I drew the horizon line right here. Let me just start it over from the beginning, okay? So um, this is what it's gonna look like when I'm done. We've got a horizon line, a vanishing point, and railroad tracks in a building. So I'm gonna start you from scratch how you can do this on your own, okay? Let me just erase this. Just erase the whole darn thing. All right. So the first thing you wanna do is you get your paper or whatever you have, whiteboard, and you take a ruler. I'll take this long ruler right here, and I'll draw a straight line across. Oh, let me open this up first. There we go. And I'm just gonna draw a straight line across my paper or whatever you're, you're drawing on, okay? I'm gonna draw, draw a straight line across there. So this is your horizon line. In this case, this is the eye level, okay? So in this case, if I scoot down to here, that, and that's where, where my eyes will be. So horizon line, let me write that in. Horizon line. It's also called eye level, same thing. Whatever your eye level is, that's where your horizon line is going to be. Now, if you've ever seen, uh, if you ever, the perfect example for, for her, uh, to showing this perspective is um, looking at uh, going down to a railroad tracks and standing in the middle of railroad tracks. You're going to see the two lines of the rail intersect way down the road there, right down the rail. You'll see, it, you'll see them come to a point, like a, a perfect point. You have to have enough of it where it's not taking a turn. It has to be straight. All right, so what we call that spot where they intersect is, I'll put an X there, that stands for vanishing point. That's where the horizontal lines vanish or intersect. Okay, they just intersect. So we call that the vanishing point. So if I want to put a set of railroad tracks in there, I simply, let's get this out of the way here, I simply just draw two lines like railroad tracks are gonna make a V shape, okay? One this side, just make a V shape. And one this side. Okay, finish that off. Okay, now that's your two rails. The other thing is gonna, you're gonna have the, the ties that go across, the wooden ties. Uh, the further away you are, the closer they're gonna look to each other, okay? And as we get closer to where you're standing, they're gonna get wider and wider, okay? So that's how it's gonna to look to you if you're standing in the middle of a railroad track. So this is your vanishing point, okay? And this is your horizon line, that's your eye level. All right, does that make sense? And you'll see this in any book on perspective. So um, what if we wanted to do, put a building in this and how would we do that? And by the way, this is one point perspective. So I'm gonna write that up here, one point perspective. What does that mean? One point. Well, we have a single point on the horizon where all the horizon, uh, the, the lines intersect or vanish. And that's um, what, why we call it one point perspective. We do have a uh, two point perspective and three point perspective, but those will be in another class in the next session. Okay. Right now we're just focusing on one point because we don't want to make it too hard. 
All right, so now I'm going to build, I'm going to make a building over here. Um, and I'm, I'm going to erase this over here so I can, you can see better. Um, I'm going to put just a vertical line that's going to go straight up and down as if, let's put it over here a little closer, right about here. Okay. And I'm going to draw maybe, well, I can make my building any height I want. doesn't matter. I'm the architect. I'm going to draw straight down. Now we have to go past the horizon line because that's how tall we are and the building's not going to be floating up there. So we're going to want it to come below the horizon line. Don't worry about how far, just put it in there. Now to find out where the vanishing point for the wall that's going to come out from this corner is going to be, we just simply take our ruler and go from the top of the building down to the corner where this X is, okay? Let's do that. I'll just draw it like that right down there. And then from the bottom of the building, we're going to draw up to the X again. Here we go. Good. Now we've established the bottom of the building and the top of the building of the wall that's facing the railroad track. So I can make my wall uh, as wide as I want to. I can make, you know, it doesn't matter. We'll make this building, just pick a spot. Let's see, right about here. I'll make a line. Okay. Just like that. Now I can take this horizon line out and you can be able to see the wall better. So now we have the wall that's facing the railroad tracks. Okay, and then if we want to finish the building, I'll simply just draw a line straight across as, as far as I want it to be for whatever I, I want, how thick I want this building to be. It doesn't matter. Make it as thick as we want. We are the architects. Okay, now I'm going to just draw a straight line for the edge of the wall and then pass the horizon line and connect these two lines right here. And that's the bottom. Okay. Kind of missed that a little bit. The ruler keeps getting in the way of my marker. All right, so now I'll erase that. Now we have a building. It looks like a factory building to me. So we have, you know, this is the side of the building and this is, um, this is the side of the building we're facing. And then this is the side of the building that's facing the railroad tracks away from us. Okay, so now we perfectly made one point perspective. We have a vanishing point, we have railroad tracks, and we have a building. Okay, so this, my friends, is one point perspective. If I want to put people in there, how are we going to do that? Well, let's see. I'll go on this side. Let's just say, for argument's sake, everybody in this, in this painting, in this drawing, is about the same uh, height. Five foot, six and three quarters. The perfect height. Okay? So, let's just say, for instance, we just said only five foot, six and three quarters people are allowed to come uh, to the party. So, um, we would all... How we do this is, if, if we're close or far away, the heads will always be on this exact same horizon line, the five foot six and three quarter high line, uh, the five foot six and three quarter horizon line. So I'm gonna put a head right here and then I'll just draw in a body. Let's make it red so you can see it better. Okay, make it red. Let's see. So I got this red marker. I'm gonna put a head right here and I'm going to draw a body. I'm just going to scribble it in. All right, make a little body there. And then, and then two legs. And he's walking along the tracks. Okay? Now, that person is kind of into the painting a little bit. But if we want to put somebody who is uh, in, in the middle somewhere, the head is still going to be the same place. Because why? This person is five foot six and three quarters, just like that person. All right? So I'll scribble him in, and he's going to be a little closer to the foreground. All right, let's put his legs in now. Make one shorter so it looks like he's walking. Okay. There it is. This guy's walking, this guy's walking. What if we had a guy that's now even closer to the foreground? Well, he's going to be, the head will still be the same. But what changes is where the legs end up. It follows along the railroad tracks. They're going to be higher up the further where you go. So here's a fella. 
walking along the railroad track. Don't ask me why they're walking along the railroad tracks. I don't know. All right, so I got it in here. Here he goes. There's this body. We'll give him an elbow. There we go, an elbow. And then a leg. And then another leg, okay? And you can see the legs. This one here, we'll just go a little bit further with that. Okay, you can see the legs are lower, but the heads are all in the same place. Okay, so that's, that's assuming everyone's the same height. If we have a taller person, they'll be up here, shorter person will be down here. But this is the easiest way to do this with, with having everyone the same height for you to understand it better. So what did we, let's, uh, let's review this. We've got railroad tracks that come to a vanishing point where the, where the two horizontal lines of the rails meet and vanish. They kind of come together. They do come together. We've got a building over here, and I'm going to erase this line now so you can see the building better. We can erase all these lines now. And you can now see this building. All we did was draw a line down to the vanishing point from the corner of the building to make our walls. Okay? So there we go, right there, one point perspective. We've got railroad tracks, we've got a building, and we've got people. Now, I want you to study this. Take time to do this, this lesson on a piece of loose leaf paper over and over and over again, okay? Because I want you to come to my classes already prepared. So you're not like scratching your head in my class and you're behind the other students. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, so um, that's lesson one in perspective, perspective uh, one point perspective. Later in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to find perspective in a photograph. Okay, so stay tuned for that one. I'll see you next time on Alan James Art. Hey, Gabe, if you want to know more about perspective and, and, and other courses, you, all you have to do is go to Udemy and look up Watercolor Secret Courses with Alan James on Udemy. That's U D E M Y dot com. And you're going to get, you can get my complete course now on sale because you've been listening to this. Instead of $49.99, guess what? You can get it for $14.99 and it's an hour and a half of lessons of everything that I cover. Everything you want to know about watercolor, it's here. It's beginning to end. It's perspective. It's uh, how to use the paints, how to use the water, how to use the brushes. All going to be in here. Um, so go to Udemy.com. Look up Watercolor Secret Courses with Alan James, and you'll get started on a real easy way to learn watercolor. Okay, see you then. So long now.